Hey guys, this is gonna be a funny video. Let's get into it. When I was 25, I backpacked through Europe. I chose an island in Greece to live for one month, Naxos. My goal was to live like Robinson Crusoe. I wanted to live off the land. The first place I went was to the store and bought a bucket, water, eggs, fishing pole and bait. I was now ready to conquer the island. So I walked 4 hours along the beach to the perfect spot. I pitched my tent and prepared my pole and was ready to spend the next 4 weeks living off the land. There was only one problem, I never caught anything. I spilled all my water, my egg cartoon fell and all but one egg broke. And I got a terrible headache. Okay, that's bad. I started packing to walk back to the store to start over. Being 25 years old allows you to do such things. At the last moment I decided to say goodbye to a Greek farmer I had briefly met. We had waved to each other and I had watched him herd his goats nearby. He was now in a stone hut where he and his wife were making cheese from the milk they had gotten from their goats. Well, I walked into the hut and they offered me milk, cheese, wine and bread which they had with them. I was in heaven. Later they mentioned for me to follow them and then made it clear to me that I could stay at their hut. <laughs> it turns out that I stayed with them for an entire month as I became their adopted son and sheep herder. It was great. I see. Except for one thing, they only spoke Greek and I only spoke English and a little Spanish. I had no translation books. But even that was great because we learned to communicate by using hand gestures and drawing pictures to each other. All was well until one day. I started having digestion problems with the food. To put it bluntly, I was constipated. I needed to go into town for medicine to make me go to the bathroom. But how to explain it to my guests? I started out by pointing to my exit. I'm not gonna use that word that refers to the exit. I started out by pointing to my exit and said the only words that came to me in Spanish. Caca no possible. <laughs> I kept repeating caca no possible and pointing to my exit. But the poor couple just couldn't understand. I finally got through to them that I needed to go into town. So they nodded yes and let me ride their donkey to the bus stop. <laughs> now, for those of you that have traveled a bit to poorer countries, you know that to say the town was just 15 kilometers or so really doesn't do it justice. We're talking about riding a donkey for 20 minutes to the dirt road where the bus comes two times a day to take the 30 minute ride into town. It's only 15 kilometers away, but I guess it's the longest 50 kilometers that we have on the planet. <laughs> And let me tell you something, if you are ever constipated and you have the option of riding a donkey 20 minutes over rough hilly land, do yourself a favor and walk. That's right, it was horrible. I did it and eventually the bus came and took me into town. I walked into the pharmacy where there were about five people and no one spoke English. Guess what? I had to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me you did it again. That's right. Kaka no possible. <laughs> I mean, the word itself is funny. While pointing to my exit. Well, all the medicine was in Greek and I certainly wasn't going to take the chance of eating hemorrhoid shrinking tablets for a laxative. 
Meanwhile, the people in the pharmacy were all looking at my exit because he was pointing at it all the time. And then talking among themselves, probably telling each other how this stupid American has an exit fetish. I don't want to stop recording, it's raining. So what did they do? They went and got their friends. People in the pharmacy go out and got their friends to come and watch. <laughs> so there were soon 20 people and still none of them spoke English. They went on until finally a guy comes in who speaks English. And you know what the first thing this Greek guy tells me? You know, I hate Turkish people, but I hate Americans more. That doesn't seem cool. Oh great, I think I am trusting this guy with my... That word again, with my exit. Well, I have to trust him, so I tell him what kaka no possible means and he directs me to the medicine. By this time, I am so relieved that I don't care if the 20 people are now laughing once they understand what my problem was. Imagine 20 people in the pharmacy are just staying like this and looking at theater. <laughs> <laughs> so I take the laxative and everything is okay. My bus comes eventually and I ride home and walk to the house of my adopted Greek parents. I show them the medicine that I wanted so badly for them to understand what I wanted. They start to laugh when they see it and continue laughing. While she opens the drawer and takes out the exact same medicine that I needed. That's a nightmare right there. <laughs> they had it all the time. <laughs> well, I have come to think that, yeah, it would have been a lot easier if they had given it to me when I first asked. Definitely, bro. But then I wouldn't have had such a wonderful story to tell about my kaka no possible adventure. <laughs> You've gone through so much to make this great story thank you so much wherever you are i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love making videos for you guys thank you so much for watching and i see you in the next one i swear to god every time he laughs i see his soul just leaving his body and going up there but getting stuck in between branches and coming down and not finding no where else to get and it just comes gets back to his body